YouTube, it's your boy MJ. I'd like to welcome everybody back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to tie a double rig jig for crappie fishing. Um, this this rig that I'm going to show you guys today it has helped me. I have it has brought me a, a lot of success when I'm out there fishing for crappie. So I wanted to try to show this 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 setup for you guys here today. So today I'm going to use two 32 ounce um, jig heads right here. Two 32 ounce jig heads. Right there, and so, like I say, the setup that we're using is pretty simple. You want to make sure when you have your um your line, you want to open up your bell on your pole, and then when you open up your bell, it gives yourself enough line to so you can use, so you won't have any problems when you're trying to set up this jig. Okay, so right there, as you can see, I stick the um stick the line through the eye, and you want to pull as much as you can pull, um preferably around about ten inches or so. So once we get to that to that point, you want to I like to wrap around my pointer finger and my um my middle finger. So you want to wrap it around like so. And once you wrap it around, you want to go in the loop at least 3 or 4 times. 1 2 3 4. Okay? Once you get to 4, you want to pinch it. All right? If we was using braid, you'll probably you put a little saliva down on it, but we're not using braid. So you just want to pinch it so you can get it to that point where you have, you know, that loop knot and it's, it's perfect. So once you get to your point, then you're just going to pull it tight and then cinch it down. So now, once you get that first one on, it's going to look like this. All right. Looking like that. Perfect. So now you're going to repeat the same action that you did on the first one. You're going to grab your, your jig head. You're going to stick it through the eye. And then once you get it through the eye, you want to at least give it, you know, from the first one you put in, maybe six inches. All right. Six to eight inches. Okay. You're going to repeat the same thing. Go around your, your pointer finger and your middle finger. Go in three to four times. One. Two. Three, four. Now once you complete that fourth, you're gonna do the same, same thing. You cinch it down. Gonna pull it to where you want it to be, roughly. And then once you get it there, you just tighten it. All right. So once we get it there, it's essentially what it looks like. All right. You have your two jigs. You have your top. You have your bottom. And then all you're gonna do is just gonna cut that, cut that, that, uh, that tag off. SS tag, all right? You cut it off, and then once you cut it off, it's gonna look like this, okay? Then as far as whatever color you wanna use, as far as your lure and whatever, you can you put it on there. But like I said, it, it works perfect for me when I'm out there fishing from the bank. And like I said, I wanna share that with you guys. And hopefully, if you can go out there and use it, you know, if it's success for you when you use it, please leave a comment below and let me know how it worked. If it didn't work, also leave a comment, let me know. Like I said, like we are, we all out here together, trying to learn, um, trying to get better, and just trying to bring home some groceries. So, also I want to tell you the setup that I've been using when I do go out there. You know, I know they have some expensive setups out there. Um, heard of the AC crappie stick, but like I, I'm a firm believer you get what you pay for. You know, so this is what I pay for here is not expensive, but it's it's a decent pole. It's the um, the lose combo set from Walmart um, infinity XJ uh, it's a six foot pole uh, medium medium light action this has worked great for me when I'm out there uh, as far as the weight I mean not the weight but the uh, the line I'm using a uh, Omniflex uh, four pound liter the reason why I want to go not liter but four pound line the reason why I want to go light on the line because when you're out there fishing it gives you opportunity especially when you're jigging you can feel those those crappies when they're when they're, when they're thumping it and so that's the reason why I want to go light. I don't want to go too heavy because you really can't feel that thump. So when you're going light, you can feel everything at the bottom. So that's why I kind of go light when I'm out there. So if you 
<clears throat> want to get out there and do the same thing like i said i suggest to go light on the line again this is for education purposes i'm not a professional um i just get out there and like i said i learn as i go and i try to share with you guys don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and always always don't talk about it fish about it